Hello friends, we use XMX property to set your Java applications maximum heap size. Now the question I have for you, say suppose you're going to set XMX to 6 GB. Will your Java process consume more than 6 GB of memory? Let's find the answer to it. Friends, the Java memory has internal compartments. The primary compartment is Java heap memory. When you set XMX, you are actually setting the size of your heap memory. After that, there is another region called the native memory. And this native memory has multiple compartments. There is a meta space region where the class definitions, meta definitions are stored. And there is a threads region. The threads are integral part to execute our application. They are stored in this native memory. And then there is a region called code cache. See friends, the code that we write is not the actual code that JVM executes at runtime. JVM does a lot of hotspot compilations and improves the code quality. And then there is another region called direct buffer. In case if you're using any Java NAO package, you're directly manipulating with the memory object. Then those are stored in the direct buffer. In Java, the garbage collection is automatic. For garbage collection, to function it needs memory and that memory is coming from this native memory and then there's a JNI fused Java native interface and directly talking with C C++ process and then I'm also categorizing another region called miscellaneous where JVM vendors have some specialized functions to optimize your application performance so friends when you set XMX you are setting an important region size heap memory but after that, there are other regions. They all are outside of XMX. So the answer to the question, yes. When you set XMX as 6 GB, the Java process memory can go beyond 6 GB, which is normal. Friends, to learn about JVM foundational principles, attend my Jax London Bootcamp. Thank you.